Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a 45 minute full body workout. We're gonna be targeting every muscle group in the body and we're gonna be doing this by doing six AMRAPs of six minutes each. Each AMRAP is gonna have three moves and we're gonna be trying to do these moves as many times as we can within those six minutes. Before we get going here, let's warm up everybody. Okay, so for the first move here, I'm just gonna take a nice big squat and I'm just gonna do easy hip circle right here, just loosening up the hips. All right, now the next move, I'm gonna squat down nice and low. You all know this one, this one's great. We're gonna reach up with our hips and then we're gonna reach down with our hips right here. So I'm getting a good hip stretch at the bottom and I'm getting a good hamstring stretch at the top. So if, if you have tighter hips, you can stay down here a little bit longer. If you have tighter hamstrings, you can stay up here a little bit longer. And we're gonna be doing one more move after this. All right, last one here, you're gonna take your right leg, we're gonna go back lunge, and then at the top here, single leg deadlift right here. Two sparks ignited, we left some space for us to breathe. My head is quiet now, I can rest in peace, cause you are more than enough, more than enough. Feeling the rush, feeling the rush, burning in love, burning in love. All right, everyone, let's get grab your dumbbells. Let's do it.
As usual, you can either do a plank or a wall sit with me. Here we're doing a plank. If you don't want to do the plank, it's all good. Just take a normal break, have a good time, go grab some water. You have a minute to relax. Now let's talk about the next AMRAP. We're going to have to do eight deadlifts. And when you do your deadlifts, it's the usual cues like hips are going to go back. Keep your abs nice and tight. Once you're done the eight deadlifts, you will have to do eight shoulder presses. And then uh, for the shoulder presses, if you don't want to go overhead, you can do eight bicep curls instead. And then you're going to have to do eight hand walkouts. And then once you're done those three moves, you're going to start it again. And you again have six minutes to do as many rounds as possible.
next AMRAP here, you guys, we're gonna have to do six uh, lunges. So we're gonna do six lunges on one leg, and then we'll do six lunges on the other leg. You can use two dumbbells, one dumbbell, or you can go body weight, I'll, let, I'll leave that decision up to you. Once you're done the lunges, you're gonna have to do 20 star jumps. If you don't wanna do star jumps, you can do jumping jacks instead. After you do this, you're gonna have to do 20 mountain climbers. When you do the mountain climbers, you guys remember it's an easy move, so we wanna see 20 on each side. All right, you have 10 more seconds in the break, and then we're gonna get going.
our next AMRAP, we're going to have to do four burpees with two lunges. So you're going to have the option of doing full burpees or half burpees. Once you're done those, you're going to be doing four bear crawls, which you can do on your hands or on your elbows. And then when you count your bear crawls, you're going to crawl the, the length of your mat. So there and back is one rep. So you're going to have to do that four times. Once you've done the bear crawls, you're going to be doing eight bent over rows. And you can do the bent over rows either standing up or you can do them with your knees on the ground. And if you do the knees on the ground variation, it's just eight rows in total.
everybody let's relax let's take a minute we only have two am wraps left and now let's hit some abs for the next six minutes you're going to be doing 10 sit-ups and if you don't want to do sit-ups you can do regular crunches instead then you're going to do 10 reverse crunches so for those one remember we want to go nice and slow and controlled slow on the way up and slow on the way down we should feel those a little bit more on the lower abs once you've done those you're going to do 10 bicycle crunches and because the bicycle crunches are a little bit easy you're going to be doing 10 on each leg Let's finish up this minute here. We have 30 more seconds and then let's do it.
und heute Nacht wird super geil. Nice work everybody, this is the last minute break, just one more AMRAP to go and then you're done the workout. Now this next one we're going to go a little bit on the outrageous side here, we're going to start with four ninja hops. If you don't want to do the ninja hops, you can just do regular burpees instead or even half burpees. Once you're done four of those, you will do six snatches. So you're going to do six on one side and then you will do six on the other side. And then the final move for this one is eight lunges, sorry, eight jumping lunges. When you count your lunges, it's eight on each leg, okay? And remember, if you don't want to jump, you don't have to jump. You can just do regular body weight lunges. All right, 20 seconds to go and we'll finish this off. We got this, you guys.
tides ever deepen For every low there's a reason You lose your sight of your freedom Don't let go Darling, I know you feel defeated But every move has a meaning You're not losing time, you're just eager Oh, I know That's the end of the arm wraps. Now we got a quick little cool down, then you're all done for the day. Okay, everybody, let's go on our back here and we're gonna catch our breath. So we're gonna go into a figure four. As you can see, I'm just gonna interlace my hands behind my leg here and I'm just focusing first and foremost on getting my tailbone on the ground. Once I feel like my tailbone is on the ground, I can start to pull my hands and my knee towards my chest and that will make my glute stretch a little bit more intense. switch it up and remember when we're stretching when we want to focus on our breathing here so a nice long inhale through the nose and then long soft exhales out of the mouth let's slow the heart rate down by doing this stretch out those hip flexors now. Now remember what I want you to do here, you're gonna squeeze your right glute, okay? And you're gonna tuck your tailbone down towards the back of your knee. So when you're doing this, you should already feel a stretch in your hip flexors. If you want to, you can take this a step further and do what I'm doing here and grab your foot with your opposite hand. When, if you're in this position, you're still gonna think about pushing your hips down towards the ground. And remember to keep controlling your breath here, everybody. And last stretch here, we're just gonna hold a child's pose for the last 40 seconds. You're gonna reach your hands forward, reach your hips back, and completely relax, everybody. Okay, 
Nice work, everybody. We were all done. Enjoy the rest of your days. See you around for another workout.